Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you and Happy New Year, probably for most of you. I've had a bit of a mare. We'll start this off with a question. What happens if you mix one bucket of liquid rubber, a mega tank, and a clumsy oaf? So in the last video you saw that I was trying to make some improvements and some repairs to Mega Tank. Mega Tank is my DIY, very DIY, big aquarium build. It's eight foot by four foot by three foot. Um, I added some valves, I improved some things, I shored up some little moisture spots and sorted it all out and resealed it and got it all nice and ready. And when I went in to sort out the sand and get ready for refilling, I thought it would be a good idea to take my bucket of liquid rubber which was in there because I was liquid rubbering thing and balance it on that beam while I did that and when you're a clumsy oaf you waterproof your shoes oh what a mess what a mess I've been in I've changed clothes obviously because they're covered in liquid rubber I've got as much of it out as I can I'm just drying off the rest of it I'll do some more cleaning oh but god what a mess I was starting to come round to the idea of liquid rubber being good and quite liking it it's not good when you spill it everywhere. So it's all over the freaking place. Anyway, so it continues to be a nightmare in that it's more of an art piece now than anything else. Um, the, the splashes of the liquid rubber are still everywhere, but we've got it back filled up with water. It's not that bad. I've had to go in and I've had to sift out the various bits of liquid rubber that I couldn't get out while it was dry. And because as soon as it filled up, basically all the bits that were in the sand dislodged themselves so I could get in there. It wasn't that bad, but I had to spend a couple of days doing this before getting it up to temperature. But the good thing, any of the leaks are now stopped. It's filled, it's watertight, all my valves are working and everything, so we're good to go. I kind of hoped that the new liquid rubber that blobbed everywhere would blend in once it got wet because once the it gets wet it does change colour a little bit but no it's all perfectly perfectly visible so I'm just going to have to learn to love it because I'm not going to do anything else about it other than smash it to pieces with a sledgehammer and we're not quite there yet should have just said I meant it and that's an art piece on the Sheffield Banksy right I don't even know what day we're on now in terms of how many days this build slash fix is taking but I've changed my mind so I'm now draining the tank again. Um, I had Brian the giant Grammy in here for a couple of days because he was getting a bit antsy in the other tank, but we're, so I put him in here. I put him in here for a couple of days. But what's happened is, I don't know how well you can see this, him swimming around and doing fishy things has just kicked up more and more of the little bits of the liquid rubber from the sand that I thought I'd got all out, but obviously hadn't, and oh, I'm just not happy with it. That, along with the Jackson Pollock type artwork, it's doing my head in. That's, it's, that's, I think that's the long and short of it, is it's going to annoy me, it's already annoying me. The longer I leave it, it's going to annoy me even more. So I've come to realize that I don't think there's anything I can do that will be good enough that ultimately, whether it's in a day, a week, a month or whatever, it's going to annoy me so much that I'll wish I had just sorted it out when I had the chance and have the chance. So we're going to drain it, we're going to dry it, we're going to completely empty it, take out all the rocks, all the wood, all the plants, all the substrate, everything, go back to bare wood almost, um, re-fiberglass, all the seams, all the corners, reinforce everything, just one extra layer of security and then get new sand and start again because I'm just not happy with how much of a mess it's turned out to be. So it really is the gift that just keeps on giving and I'm just noticing now that I'm covered and... <sighs> I'm not even sure I'll bring this out or not. If this video never comes out, then who am I talking to? But yeah, I may accidentally set fire to this. Just do like an insurance job on the house. I don't even know how long I've been filming this. I think I've been filming this video for about two weeks now and getting more and more irate as it goes on about each bit. And I know some of you love that and think, oh, this is great fun, this is hilarious. Graham's just doing this to entertain. I'm not, I hate this. 
<laughs> you know when I say I make YouTube videos for fun, this is not fun. But I will not be defeated by a piece of wood. <sighs> right, back in a bit. Right, so I've spent the best part of a couple of hours getting all the rocks out and all the, the things that you can see here, it actually comes off pretty easily. I mean, my hands are disgusting now. Um, but the newer stuff that's come in blobs of the liquid rubber, that's come off all right. And it comes off the rocks fairly easily. Um, if you get it like this, it just kind of peels off. So I think I'll just be spending a hell of a long time picking off bits like this and cleaning it all up. I've got a fan in there at the moment, just drying off the sand before I get the sand out. So I'm just going to take it to bits, get it back to as bare as possible. See where we're at, which will probably take another couple of days. Okay, day 775. Um, I've changed the plans again. <laughs> I used to be indecisive, but now I'm just not sure. I haven't taken the sand out because I found it was a little bit easier just to get in there and sieve it in situ. So I've now got a bucket full of nasty sand that was contaminated with all the liquid rubber and the rest of it's all good, I think. And I have glassed the offending corner where we were having the trouble. So I think we're good to go now. So now it's just aesthetics. Um, so I'm going to get in and try and peel off as much of the splatter effect that I can and paint over or rubber over as much as is left. But I am now running low on liquid rubber having dumped an entire bucket of it in there in the first place. But we'll see how far I can get. Um, but it's looking good. I've done a full inspection. While I've been sieving the sand, I've basically cleared it all out and put it all back again. And everything looks good, so I'm hopeful. <laughs> I've said that before. I'm hopeful that we, everything should be good when we start to fill it again. Well, that didn't work. And it looks terrible. So, <laughs> I'm out of liquid rubber now. I, I can't go up with it. It's just not going to be good enough. So I can't believe I'm saying this. I've bought more liquid rubber. And more geotextile. We are going back to the original plan. We're going back to square one. Everything is out. So the substrate is out, the rocks, the decorations. It's been cleaned out. It's been left to dry for a couple of days. We're just going to start again. So I'm going to go around all the seams with extra thick, extra wide geotextile. This is basically like a seam tape. Basically going to do a liberal application of the geotextile, which is Basically, you use it on all the joints and any seams, but I'm just going to liberally apply it everywhere until I've used it all up. Um, this is the extra thick version, it's four inches thick, um, so it should be good to fold round the corners, but it's um, a reinforcing fabric. Basically, it's like a polyester thing, but when it's combined with the liquid rubber, it's apparently the strongest material available. We'll see. I did use this in the first version, but now that we've secured everything and nothing can move anymore, this should hopefully give us a perfect seal that should last a long time. And then another bucket of liquid rubber, just to make it look nice as well. So, let's do that. So this is the geotextile stuff. You can see, it's full of fabric. And you basically, you take a big strip of liquid rubber, paint it down, lay this on top, and then paint it back in again. Like so. I just want to get it right into the corner once you get it into place paint it in it's a bit like fiberglassing but a bit easier right that's coat two done of four i'm going to go for four coats i'm not going to do two coats of the walls because they're fine but the joints are going to get four. The instructions say you do a coat, let it get tacky, do another coat, let it get tacky, do, do your four coats there, and then leave it to cure for four days. Being a very impatient man, that's the most difficult part. But it's looking much better. See you in four days. Well, it's done. I have emptied, stripped, resealed, cleaned about... 150 kilos of sand put it back in that's why it's like this um, it's escaped as much as it can be in that there are three kind of islands I've tried to create some little caves line of sight breaks 
Uh, call it what you will. I mean, the tank is plenty big enough for the fish that are going to be in here. Um, but if aggression does rear its head again, we shouldn't have any problems because there'll be lots of spaces for them to hide. <sighs> Crunch time. Let's fill it up and see if it holds water. Lovely rainy day. It's day two of it being filled. Well, 24 hours after it's filled. I'm coming down in the morning to the garage to see whether or not it's held water. This is normally the point where if it's been a massive failure, it'll be today. So we're interested in that bit down there. If it's leaked, that'll be wet. Cross your fingers, everyone. And it's still full of water. Yay! No leaks yet. Touch wood, quickly. Right, we're now entering day four of leak-free operation of Mega Tank. Everything is back up and running. It's up to temperature. It does take a good two, three days to get up to temperature. But yeah, so far, so good to touch everything wood. Um, time to get the fish back in, get them out of fishy jail, which I'm sure is what they think that small aquarium is. First up we have Gordon. Everything of course is temperature matched. Try and get him in with as minimum fuss as possible so as he doesn't smash into everything. That's gone quite well. Be free! Explore! Brian, the giant Grammy next. Every time. So I'll move the other fish in in a bit, but I might leave the Oscars here for a little while because I just want to observe their behaviour. Recently, the past couple of weeks, they've just been acting a little bit differently to normal. And I can't decide whether they're fighting or breeding. So I just want to give them a bit of time and a bit of space and a tank on their own. I mean, this is a big enough tank for them. Just to see if anything comes of that. And if not, we'll get them back over. I have a few more upgrades planned. So if you're interested in following along the progress of Mega Tank, Click that button down there, click the subscribe. And if you're new here, I've had a big jump in subscribers recently. If you're one of those, hello. Come and join us on a Friday night at 9 p.m. We do a live stream every Friday. Come and ask any questions, get some updates of things going on in and around the fish room. But for now, I just want to say thank you very much for joining me. I'm glad it's over for now. We'll see what happens next time. Bye.